We'll get straight into the first part. So that's performance gyms. Starting with Melbourne, we've got um, Christian Woodford's gym, uh, Woodford Sports Science Consulting. You've got Core Advantage. Athletes Authority have just opened up a space. Uh, and six principles. So they're probably top of mind, the, the top four to check out if you need to get work experience or you want to um, learn um, your craft in the private sector. Check out those performance gyms. Then in Sydney, Athletes Authority, Adelaide, you got peak performance as well as Ian McEwen's new gym, Game Ready. Uh, and then over in Perth, you've got Chris Perkins, West Coast Health and High Performance Space. So Private sector, make sure to check those out and follow those on on your socials or the strength and conditioning coaches, as well as from an academy point of view or membership, we've, you've got play, you've got science for sport, uh, you've got athletes authority, um, their uh, strength, personal training certificate, and of course you've got um, my uh, academy membership. So we've got two. We've got one for footballers, for developing footballers, which is a value add for anyone following our program or working with our coaches, they get our academy membership for free. But then we've got a whole separate membership just for coaches, high-performance staff, physiotherapists, personal trainers, anyone that's working in the fitness industry that's running their business or currently work in elite sport or want to work in elite sport. Our membership is for you. So there's uh, weekly and monthly uh, content that I update uh, in the membership as well as uh, in the future. It's only six months old, but in the future I'll be bringing in uh, guest experts to for workshops, uh, and that all all the content is uh, free and exclusive for our academy members. Then, from courses point of view, you've got of course the Australian Strength and Conditioning Association Level One, Two, and Three. I'm lucky enough to done that completed those three. I believe there's now a level zero that you need to complete to earn the right to do level one. Um, that wasn't the case uh, when I started out, so. Um, level zero, level one are relatively easy weekend um, commitments and you can tick those off pretty quickly and they're basic level, entry level um, knowledge. Level two and three are a lot more advanced uh, and there's some highly experienced world-class coaches and practitioners on those levels. So highly recommend working your way up into doing those courses. The workbook post course is not easy uh, but worthwhile um, pursuing as there's some great learning along the way with that. And then, of course, the yearly conference as well, something I've done. I've been to two, one in Melbourne and one in Queensland, and uh, it's a great opportunity to uh, keep your finger on the pulse with where the industry is heading, uh, listen to a lot of great presenters, as well as um, network and meet new people in the industry. So highly recommend the ASCA conference. Uh, then you've got your placement as well. So for those that have done their Masters or Bachelor of Sports Science, you'd be familiar with completing 200 hours uh, at a sporting club for those that want to work in sport. However, if you haven't enrolled in your bachelor's degree uh, or you just currently completed your placement and it didn't um, uh, get you a, a full-time job and you still want to hone your craft and you're not currently working in sport, then absolutely reach out to clubs. The best time to do that would be in the off-season um, just before preseason starts, uh, it's typically when um, you know before Christmas. The, from an AFL point of view, is the best time um, for high performance staff to bring in students or people that just want to cut their teeth and, and observe and be a fly on the wall and, and um, basically gain experience and, and knowledge of what it takes to be a strength edition coach in the AFL. And then the last part. Um, that I'd highly recommend and, and I've I've gained a lot from and something that I want to um, pursue a lot more over the next few years is actually paying for a mentor and doing one-on-one -on -one, uh, sessions, whether that be via Zoom or face-to-face. -face. Uh, I did, uh, I paid for four sessions with John Pryor to really understand the coordinative-based movements, your French Bosch type movements and how I integrate that into a strength and power program and rehabilitation process. Uh, and I saw, um, saw great value in that. Um, obviously, it's really customized experience to you. So you, the questions that you're asking uh, and the experience that you're get, gaining from that, um, for me, outweighs doing your generic courses. Um, once you've done those basic level courses that we need to do early on, I think from then on to really um, gain a real clear understanding on how to integrate a new methodology into your philosophy. I like the one-on-one -on -one, uh, mentoring.